Hello everyone, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only. Today's video is going to be about how to get through grief, how to get over heartbreak or the loss of something that was really important to you. Um, heartbreak and grief can come in all different shapes and forms. Um, you may be experiencing the loss of an idea of something, the loss of a person, a pet, a friendship, a relationship. Um, a career path that you thought you were going to go on, like grieving is such a normal and big part of everyday human life. Um, and there's lots of strategies on how to best handle grief and to work through grief. Um, and so today I thought I would just share some of the most helpful tips I've learned along the way for processing grief um, and getting through kind of that heartbreak feeling. Um, and hopefully that can bring some ease and some comfort and support to you uh, if you're going through a hard time right now. So first I just want to acknowledge that grief, heartbreak, loss is really, really hard. Um, so if you are crying right now or sitting with some really heavy emotions and feelings, um, you're not alone and um, it's okay to feel those things. Um, the biggest thing that you can kind of work towards in grief and in processing, in my opinion, is not being afraid of your feelings. And so that's what I'm going to kind of talk about today and help give you guys some tips and strategies on how to not be afraid of the feelings, to feel the feelings, because feeling our feelings and working through them, um, so going through them instead of just trying to avoid, numb, ignore, um, is what's going to allow us to either suffer or feel pain and process and survive it. So it's about getting out of this suffering mindset and instead having tools to work through the pain so that you can get to a place of healing. Um, so I have definitely experienced loss and grief in my life. Um, no person's loss is greater than anyone else's. Your pain is only your pain. It can't be compared. Um, so don't ever compare your losses to someone else's. Everything you're feeling right now is totally valid um, and your experience is valid. So I definitely have had my own losses in my life. I've lost friendships. I've lost family members. I've lost pets. I've lost relationships that meant a lot to me and it sucks. <laughs> um, there's really nothing that you can do that's going to make it any less shitty. Um, it's about kind of figuring out how we navigate through the shittiness of it. So obviously when you're thinking about grief, there are the five stages of grief. So there is denial, there is anger, bargaining, depression, and then eventually acceptance. Um, I know people talk about going through them in a linear fashion, but realistically we all know that it is all over the place. You might get into anger and then go back to denial and then try to go into bargaining and then into depression and then back to denial and then back to anger. Um, so it's not just this linear process. You can kind of go through a bunch of different iterations of it and there's no time frame to get over grief. Um, it's on your own time. Um, but one of the things that's really helped me through each of those stages of grief and processing the loss is not being afraid of my feelings. Um, and so what I mean by that is that you are going to feel like shit, right? Like you're going to feel sad, you're going to feel angry, you're going to feel confused, betrayed, hurt, um, you're going to feel like everything's really unfair. Um, or you're going to feel whatever the heck you're feeling, right? Um, I can't tell you what your feelings are, just like you can't tell me what my feelings are going to be because we're all unique, we're all individual, and we're all going to experience grief and heartbreak and loss in different ways. Um, but acknowledging that it's okay to feel those things. So when you do have a feeling come up for you, the first thing you want to do is just acknowledge it. So be like, yeah, right now I'm feeling really sad. How do I know I'm feeling sad? Maybe I'm crying. Maybe I can't talk to people. Maybe I have that, you know, lump in my throat. Um, I'm feeling sad. Maybe I can't get out of bed. That is my feeling. Um, so the first thing is acknowledging it. It's not numbing it out. It's not ignoring it. It's not pretending it's not there. It's acknowledging it and sitting with it, even though it's really uncomfortable and sucks. Um, when we learn to sit peacefully or as peacefully as we can with our feelings um, and, you know, give them the space that they need to be in, um, we take the power back over ourselves and we take the power back over our feelings because we say, hey, yeah, you're there. 
I acknowledge this, I see that this is happening, and I'm going to go through this right now. Um, so that's the first tip I have, is just to, you know, build up that courage, build up that bravery that when something shows up for you, you don't, you know, shut it down, you don't put on a brave face, you don't grab a bottle of booze, you don't, you know, go on Instagram and look for validation. You just take a moment, take a breath, and just sit with it, and see how it feels to sit with it. And it, it's probably not going to be fun, but it's going to be what's the most helpful for you. Um, and it's going to be what's going to allow you to move through it and to heal from the pain instead of continue to suffer because of it. Um, so sometimes I've heard in the past people kind of um, use the analogy uh, of like going to the bathroom, right? So um, we all have to go to the bathroom. We all have feelings. Um, obviously, there are appropriate times and places to go to the bathroom. Um, so maybe you tuck your way, you, t you go get some privacy when you feel feelings coming on, or you make um, an effort to plan out times in your day when you can allocate time to feel feelings. Um, I always say, like, before you get in a car to go on a road trip, you go to the washroom first. Um, if you're going to do some big event or you know you have to get into a meeting or you have to show up somewhere, take that moment before and feel your feelings out so you can go into that um, environment knowing that you're not holding on to things that you um, don't want to bring into that space so always finding kind of like appropriate places to feel them and then the second thing you can do is learn to not judge your feelings so um, what really helps people and I've read this in lots of different books um, and different psychology articles um, is not how what feelings we have everyone's gonna have feelings that's normal but how we feel about our feelings and the judgments we put on our feelings helps with us in terms of how much we suffer in them. Um, so for example, if I am feeling really angry um, and I am pissed off and I have this judgment on that feeling being like, well, you know, you can't be angry because it's not seen as correct or people are gonna say that you're a bitch or you're being selfish and I put those judgments on that feeling of anger, um, it's going to make me feel kind of like a shit person and it's not helping the situation. So not applying judgment to our feelings and making sure the way we feel about our feelings is from a non-judgmental place and as neutral as possible. So saying, yeah, I feel angry right now and I feel angry because a really shitty thing happened to me and I know I'm not an angry person. This is just what's coming up for me. It allowed me to process it and I can separate myself from the anger and I don't have to put a judgment on it about who that who I am as a person for feeling that way. That allows you to take a step back, take control and move through and feel that anger without any um, criticism or self-doubt or, um, you know, judgment on it, right? Having self-compassion for ourselves through our grief and understanding that like it's okay to feel the way we're feeling. We don't need to label it or build our identities around our feelings is so, so, so important because you are not your feelings, right? Feelings come and go. You are not your feelings. If that's one mantra you can take away from this whole video. It's that I am not my feelings. I don't judge myself based off of the feelings I have because I know these feelings are going to pass right? So have self-compassion for yourself. Take the patience and the pause and the self-awareness you need to feel it out and work through your pain instead of trying to avoid it or jump over it or skip three steps um, because you're just going to suffer that way. Um, I know it's, it's hard and I've been there and like I know you just want it to be over with and you didn't ask for this, but it's part of life, it's what makes us stronger, it's what makes us more compassionate to others um, and to have more empathy. And there is a lesson and a teachable in this. You might not be able to see it now, but it's gonna come through eventually. Um, but for right now, I'm sending you so much love, I'm sending you so much compassion and permission to grieve in a way that's going to best support you in this time. Um, Please leave a comment down below if you guys want to talk about anything or DM me or email me. Our Instagram is at CBO Wellness. I always check my DMs. I'm always here to listen. Um, don't ever feel like you're alone and you will get through this. I know it sucks right now and you can't really see an end and you're pissed off and that's okay. Um, just feel your feelings. Don't have judgments towards them and, and you're going to move on from this. And I just want to say this one last quote um, and leave you with this is that whenever you're feeling pain, it comes from a place of knowing that you have been loved or loved deeply. And so 
just sit with that. Um, I know that it's not going to take away anything or make it any better, but it is comforting at least for me to know that this pain doesn't come from not being human, right? Like we're all human, we all feel these things and it's normal. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because that really helps this channel. Give us a follow on Instagram, it's at CVO Wellness and I'll see you for another video soon.